Okay, so in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a mirrored drive using software RAID RAID 1. So you need to go to Start, right-click My Computer, go Manage, and then when you're on the Manage screen here, go to Storage and Disk Management. Um, I've got two just two gig drives here, which I'm going to uh, mirror for redundancy, um, not my operating system one. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just delete the volumes I've got on there at the moment. Um, you don't need to do this if you've got data on one you want to sort of mirror it onto another. What you can do is you can just skip to the part where we're going to create a dynamic disk um, and you can do it that way. Um, so here I'm going to create just a simple volume. Um, this is the, the basic one we're going to then set it, configure it to mirror to the other drive. Uh, I'm just going to call this mirror, mirrored drive. You can finish there. Um, so if you already had a disk with data on, what you'd need to do is this stage. You'd right click on it and convert to dynam dynamic disk. Just select the disk, that's disk 1, that's fine, good. And just convert that. If you've got data on there, it's going to take a little longer, um, though this stage doesn't usually take ages. Um, once you've done that, um, you just right click on the mirror drive you got, and provided you've got another drive um, that's empty, here you can just right click add mirror, select the disk, just add it. And it's as simple as that. Um, you're going to need to make sure that the partition you've got empty is the same size as the one you're trying to mirror. Resyncing will obviously take a little while if you've got data on there as well. I haven't got any data on mine so it's going to take, well it's done already. Um, so you do lose obviously one disk's load of space when you have RAID 1 um, and there is a small overhead in space and also on your CPU. And I did find by adding an additional disk and mirroring it using RAID 1 um, I actually got a quicker read speed so, um, from tests. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks.